Hey YouTubers, welcome to DigiTalks. Um, been a bit quiet lately, I uh, thought I'd do a bit of a vlog uh, rather than a specific video, just as a bit of an update. Not a lot been going on, is the bottom line really. Uh, it's been really quiet. I have noticed that 24.2 or 2019.24.2 software update is out in the wild, but um, it doesn't seem to be very active. So keeping an eye on tracking on Teslafy and what have you, doesn't seem to be rolling out a lot of activity at the moment, um, which would normally suggest that they've halted rollouts because there's been, I don't know, maybe a bug found that they're busy fixing or that there's another release coming out, which um, is bigger and got more in it and therefore they're holding back on some of the others. Well, I hope it's the latter. The most recent um, suggestions are that the updates that are out at the moment were really just updating things like games and Sketchpad and a few other bits and pieces, which uh, don't add a great deal of value. So I'm hoping that they are halting in order to roll out something a little bit more substantive around the autopilot technology and what have you. I do have a theory uh, about that too. Um, the new computer, the new super duper computer with ridiculous amounts of improvement over the current 2.5 hardware is uh, being rolled out with the new cars if you order them now. Elon Musk ha has talked about retrofitting um, FSD for self-driving buyers uh, with the new computer by the end of the year. I'd imagine that's probably going to be in the US and it will have to filter its way out across Europe and the UK. So we're unlikely to see it in the UK until some point next year, which is a bit of a shame. That would be two, two and a half years since I bought my car with full self-driving um, added and haven't seen a great deal of value for that. However, um, early adoption has its benefits and its drawbacks. So, uh, you know, you kind of expect that. But um, yeah, my theory is that a lot of the development time will be going into making the best use of the new computer with that much more power and that much more capability. It would make sense to make sure that that computer is getting a lot of focus around development time so that uh, the new cars and the people that get the upgraded computers are going to get maximum benefit. Um, I'm not sure if that means we're going to see a bit of a slowdown in software release updates or that we're just going to see software releases that are doing things like games and sketch pads, which again, don't add a great deal of value. Uh, but let's see, that's my theory. It'd be interesting to see um, whether that plays out or not. And the only other thing I've really got to report is that I had a visit from the mobile Tesla mobile technicians today. And um, yeah, that's great. I mean, as far as service is concerned, getting, uh, getting them come out to you at your house and, and sort those problems out um, is, is great service. My nearest Tesla center is Birmingham, which is about a 45 minute, 50 minute drive from me at least. So it's really great to have those guys come out to you. Uh, I am gonna do a video uh, update on episode three, I think, of my Living With A Tesla series, which will talk about costs, which will also talk about service, which will also include some time lapse and some uh, updates on what I got out of my uh, Tesla mobile technician visit. So make sure you just stay tuned in for that. Other than that, yeah, um, not an awful lot to report. So I just wanted to drop this one out there as a, a quick update. I'll drop out uh, episode three of the Living With series. And I'm also gonna do a video about my experience of being a YouTuber or YouTube creator for the first month. What started out as a, an experiment, uh, largely driven by my kids saying that you should give it a go, Dad, um, has turned out an awful lot better than I had thought um, in terms of views, in terms of subscribers, in terms of interest. Uh, so I might keep it up. I might do it for a bit longer. That's all going to be dependent on whether it keeps going in the right direction, whether we keep getting viewers and keep getting subscribers. So uh, yeah, if you are watching and you do like, feel free to comment, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. It will only uh, motivate me more to get more done. Well, uh, that was a bit of a vlog update rather than a, a specific. I um, hope uh, that was interesting or of, of interest to you. Um, let me know. I hope you're good and take care.